It's such a, it's so much fun to live life exactly as we are. Like exactly as you are, exactly as I am. And that's different for every single person. We don't have to try to be something that we're not anymore. However we look, however we are, whatever thoughts, emotions and sensations are appearing for us, that is what we become comfortable with. That is where we truly learn who we are. This is where we find relief. So we don't need to try to anymore to accumulate positive data streams. Data streams in balanced view, we just call data streams thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences. So we don't need to try to accumulate positive ones and we don't need to get rid of the negative ones because the relief that we're looking for, the confidence that we're looking for, the ability for us to fulfill our potential of who we are comes in letting all of our data streams be exactly as they are, exactly as they are. And we can do this really easily through recognizing our power, through emphasizing open intelligence. Open intelligence, what is it? Stop thinking just for a moment. What's there? What remains? Your power. Your complete comfortability with you as you are. And then the thoughts come again. The hatred, the anger, the jealousy, the pride, the scared of what other people think of me, the wanting to be more like that person, all flooding back. Open intelligence is still there. Open intelligence is always there. The negative thoughts don't make open intelligence go away. The negative thoughts remind us that open intelligence is always there. They, re they remind us to take a short moment. This is the single practice of balanced view, short moments. We take short moments of open intelligence until they become continuous. Just recognizing open intelligence for short moments. And the short moments become continuous. And we gain confidence to allow everything to be exactly as it is. Everything. All data streams are inseparable from open intelligence. Like the colour blue in the sky. Inseparable. Super powerful metaphor. If you really like, consider that. Like you just... There's no way to separate the blue from the sky. We just can't do that. Just like you can't separate the anger from open intelligence. You can't do it and you don't want to do it because it's not true. True reality, vast, open, open intelligence. That is what you are and that is what you can gain familiarity with. And so if anger arises for us, we really have, we can, we've got two choices. We can believe that it has an independent nature. We can believe that it's separate from open intelligence, in other words. Or we can recognize it as it truly is. We can use it to recognize how amazing we are. So we can avoid the anger, which is, I'm not going to be angry right now. If I, if I get angry, you know, just I'm not going to be angry. Anger, bad, <coughs> me, no angry, not going to be angry. Like just not allowing us to feel the anger, fully suppressing that anger. <coughs> this is one option. But probably we've all tried to do that in our lives. 
And we've all seen that the anger comes back. The anger always comes back. It's not a permanent solution. It's a band-aid. To avoid anger is just a band-aid and it doesn't give us permanent relief. So I know for me, I'm not interested in temporary relief anymore. That's really boring because I know that permanent relief is possible. So no more avoiding, it doesn't work. We can replace the anger. This is another strategy that we've probably all used in our lives, replacing the anger. Like, I really love that person. They are such a good person. They look there, oh look, but I know that they've, they're, you know, I feel angry right now, but no, but they've, they've, look at all the good things they've done in their life. Like, you know, they, they, you know, they, they go and they give money to charity and they, they do a lot of service and, you know, like just like really trying to convince ourselves that we shouldn't be angry. We're not angry. And again, it's just another band-aid. The anger will come back at another point. And then we have to spend all of our energy trying to replace that anger with positive thoughts, convincing ourselves that we're not angry. Or we indulge that anger. Indulge it and get actually, get really angry, aggressive, abusive of that person. I know I really used to do this a lot to my father because for some reason it felt like I, I have the freedom to express myself with him because he'll always love me. And so just being really mean, because there we're finding this, this temporary relief in expressing our anger and getting, making that person feel really bad, really small, because then we feel better for a moment. That's it. The anger will come back again. That person will say that thing again that annoys you and you will get angry again. And if you want to indulge that anger, you'll just spend your life angry, indulging anger, indulging anger. Nothing, there's no empowerment there for you and there's no empowerment there for the other person. So indulging anger, it doesn't work. Another band-aid. Don't want to do it anymore. Don't want to spend my energy trying to not feel anger. So we have another solution, a really, really incredible solution. A solution that provides permanent relief, not temporary relief, permanent relief. And it really takes some courage, really takes some courage to allow your anger to let it be as it is. Because initially you're like, whoa, no way, I cannot allow that anger to be as it is. That is way too much. What will I do? Like, what will I really do? But the key is, when you allow the anger to be as it is, you rely on open intelligence. This is really important piece of the puzzle. We rely on open intelligence whilst we allow the anger to be as it is. And then anger reveals itself to be what it truly is. And the impulse to act on it, it's just not there anymore. We just don't act on it because we're so grounded in reality. We see that it's not going to provide us what we want. The impulse to avoid it, it sort of becomes humorous. Like, why would I want to avoid, avoid this myself? I don't need to avoid it anymore. I can let it be as it is. And the, the same with the impulse to replace it. Why would I replace air with air? It doesn't make, it just stops making sense why we would want to use all of these strategies. But this all happens very naturally. Very, very naturally. We just rely on open intelligence. We take short moments of open intelligence to allow everything to be as it is. And every short moment looks completely different. Sometimes if we feel the impulse, if we feel a lot of anger and we take a short moment, the anger might dissolve instantly. It might resolve 
like a knot in a snake. We don't need to do anything for the knot to undo itself, like a line drawn in water. It just resolves by itself without us needing to do anything. But sometimes if we feel anger and we let it be as it is, it gets more and more and we feel the anger of the whole entire world for all people who have ever felt angry before. But when we're relying on open intelligence, it's not a problem. We have the inexhaustible capacity to feel everything. And this, this is how we become completely comfortable with ourselves. Completely comfortable. To live life, no matter what data stream appears, we just gain confidence in letting it be exactly as it is, exactly as we are. This is who we are. We are not a mechanism that's constantly trying to avoid, indulge, replace. Avoid, indulge, replace. Avoid, indulge, replace. We just completely relax, like sitting on a couch with your feet up, allowing everything to be as it is, whilst doing so much, while living lives of such complete benefit. Because when we're not focused on ourselves anymore, when we're not focused on trying to sort ourselves out, we just live a life of benefit to all because there's nothing else to do other than to support others to recognize this about themselves as well. It's, it's a very, very powerful lifestyle. And I've seen, I've seen for myself the very clear distinction between acting out on anger and being wrathful. Acting out on anger is disempowering and wrath only empowers. It empowers you, it empowers the person and it empowers the whole situation. And it comes from love. There's no blame. And if we don't feel like we know if we're speaking from wrath, we just, we just, uh, we just let it be as it is. And we use the four mainstays, the amazing support system from, that's available from Balance View and offered from Balance View, oh, an amazing support system that uh, really ensures that open intelligence becomes your experience. We have a teacher that is available for you after you've completed the 12 empowerments. We have this amazing community of people that it's just so powerful to be around and see how everybody else lives and responds to each other. We have the trainings. We have a one day introductory training on Saturday and we have many trainings all the time happening that empower open intelligence. And we have the community, the training, the teacher and short moments. <laughs> we have short moments of open intelligence that just come with you everywhere. Training up open intelligence, the most gentle yet powerful practice that you can have. 